Now, it's been three weeks, still no solution. New numbers are also showing Dallas's 911 call takers are still struggling to achieve the city's goal for answering emergency calls. So what's going on? Jack Fink live, Dallas City Hall, where understand frustrations are mounting. Well, that's right. Uh, council members say they aren't happy because 911 calls still aren't being answered as quickly as they should. And council members wanted more information from city managers by now. How disappointed I am. Today, because Dallas Councilman Adam Madrano criticized new city manager TC Broadnax after he postponed a briefing uh, about the crisis at the 911 call center. Issue. And twice it's been uh, denied to bring it uh, to public safety. A spokeswoman says Broadnax wants more time to provide the full council more details. New stats show the city reached its goal just one day during the past eight days of answering 911 calls within 10 seconds, 90% of the time. That was Friday. The very next day, only 75% of calls were answered within 10 seconds, in part because some 911 call takers called out sick. Calls were answered on average that night within 37 seconds. Well, it's a, it's a huge concern. I mean, when someone picks up the phone to dial 911, someone ought to be there to answer the phone and we ought to have someone on the way immediately to resolve that issue. The response time is Interim Police Chief David Pugh says many of the emergency calls are being handled within 13 seconds, not 10. A bigger concern, he says, is that 911 callers not be placed on hold. And three weeks later, he says the city still needs more time for a fix. Um, I'm not happy with where we are, where we're at right now. We we still need to make some improvements. So, council members are also concerned DPD has moved its neighborhood police officers to the 911 call center. They play a huge role in our community, and so I hate to see that that's the place we're we're looking to pull from.